announcement from the Ministry of Public Affairs and Social Harmony. Do not loot the bodies of fallen Royal Army soldiers. Their weapons and equipment are the property of pagan men. Taking these items is no different from robbing our great leader. Any civilians found looting Royal Army bodies will face arrest and swift punishment. May Pagan's light shine upon you all. This is Rabbi Rana, and I have some very sad personal news that I would like to share uh, on the radio uh, one of the day. I know that a lot of times there are some jokes and some banter on this program, but ultimately what we do here is share news from the Golden Path, and a lot of times we put our own lives on the line to share the truth. And unfortunately, that truth had one of my family members killed. I have recently learned that Pagan men had my uncle Rana executed. Rana uncle was one of the kindest, sweetest men that I have ever met in my life. And in fact, he was like a father to me. He resided in Utkarsh, a small town in Kirat. And the people who knew him knew that he was one of the biggest supporters of the Golden Path movement from a very, very young age. And uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I can't do this right now. This is uh, very hard for me, especially when these deaths hit home. And uh, it's moments like these that make you want to stop doing what you're doing, but um, you're, you're right, Chodu. Pagan Min uses tactics like this to stop us from telling the truth. And you know what? Uncle Rana's life and his work was not in vain. I'm going to keep on doing what I do best, and that's sharing the truth with you guys. And I do this for you and my family and my folks. This is Radio Free Kirat. I am your host, Rabbi Rana. And believe me when I say this, I'm not going anywhere. This is for you, Uncle Rana. Just in time. Pagan's broadcast is starting. What's this about? No clue, brother. But we're going to find out. Good people of Kirat. I'm sure you will all be delighted to know that the reports of my death completely and utterly inaccurate. I am alive, and all is right in the world. The life brings change, and I implore you, Kirat, to look to my example and see it as the positive influence it is. Change requires strength, and it is a strength that I know all of you possess. Now, I recently experienced change within my own organization. 
Miss Knorr, and Paul Deplor, after years of dedicated service, have decided to move on. I'm sure you will all join me in wishing them well in their future endeavors. But like them, we must look forward, not back. The attempt on my life is nothing more than a symptom of resistance to change. Rest easy. For Yuma Lao, my trusted commander-in-chief, who oversees our mining operations at the KEO facility, stands between me and any would-be assassin. She would rather die than see any harm come to me. Go ahead, I challenge you. Put her resolve to the test. To summarize, change is good. Embrace it. Your king is alive. Rejoice. And Yuma stands like a sentinel, waiting. Bring it on. Sounds like he's calling us out. The mines. You know what to do. a lot of my life apologizing for Yuma's first impressions. She has a remarkable ability to make consistently terrible introductions. I'd love for you two to meet on better terms. She really has been the driving force behind most of my successes. She forges deals with my international buyers. She uh, polices Noor and Deplur. She even finds time to run my army. Well, that is until her recent obsession with Kirati superstition took a hold of her. She thinks I don't know about the expedition she's been sending up the mountains looking for magical paintings or whatever it is. I'm as open as the next fellow about negligible losses for the sake of employee morale, but only so many pins can go missing from the stationary cupboard before someone has to lose a hand. It's a boy like you to kill me after everything I did for him. Before your horrible mother came along, he was fearless. Nobody could stand up to him. Then your mother. Your mother.
She weakened his resolve. She turned him into this simpering shell of a man. He stopped being a king that day. He was broken. Weak. I lied to myself. I thought he would get better. He had to get better. But no. <laughs> what is broken stays broken. It stays weak. But Pagan will not break me. This country will not break me. And you, you will not break me. Yeah. 
You got me. What the hell? Let's stop playing this game. Shogwa. We both know what you really want. No toys in bed.
Sabal, I got Yuma. Praise Banashur. This is the will of Kira. Moen's looking down on you now, brother, and he's proud of all the difference you're making. Bacon's next, Ajay, and then it's all done. We'll be free. 